sorting junk mail day after day, driving the same rural mail route week after week. You can understand why Shirley Digart of Teague, Texas, thought she could use a little exhilaration for a change. It was a spur of the moment thing, and I just thought, you know what, this might be kind of fun. So, for her 54th birthday, this grandmother of three decided to send herself airmail to jump out of a plane from 13,000 feet. Like all these people, Shirley would be strapped to her instructor in what's called a tandem jump. And you're just basically there for the ride. This is Shirley just moments before her jump. Behind her, Dave Hartsock, her instructor, and soon-to-be hero. There isn't any video of what happened next, but these pictures give you at least some sense of the horror. Their first parachute opened, but only partially, and their reserve chute just got tangled up with the first one. I was just, huh, so that's how I'm going to die. And I thought, God, please help us. God, please help Dave. And we just continued to spiral. And so it was, at roughly 40 miles an hour and 100 feet from their maker, that Dave did the truly unimaginable. Just before crashing, he told Shirley to lift up her feet. He then pulled down on the control toggles to rotate their position, to put his body under hers, to act as a cushion so that when they hit, he would take the brunt of the fall. I can't hardly believe it. He broke my fall. Nice. Dave didn't die, but his valor cost him dearly. He's now paralyzed with just a little movement in his right arm. People keep telling me that it was a heroic thing to do, and in my opinion, it was just the right thing to do. I mean, I was the one who was completely responsible for her safety. What other choices were there? You hear heroes say that, don't you? And it's just because that's the kind of person they are. And this is the kind of person she is. The kind of person for whom a thank you note you just won't do. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing, well, pretty good. I'd hug you, but... Why not? <laughs> this is their first time seeing each other since the accident. And although Shirley came here to Tear Memorial Herman Hospital in Houston to cheer him up, it turned out the other way around. Yeah. He had me laughing. I can't believe that. <laughs> Dave even invited her skydiving again. We're accident proof now, baby. I mean, what are the odds of something happening twice like that? Well, don't that? even come say on. that. Don't even yeah, say that. I mean, come on. He really wants to do it. But Shirley's not so sure. Uh, well, I'll think a little bit more about this next one, maybe. I'm thinking. Yeah. Obviously, Dave's got a long road ahead, although more feeling comes back all the time. Plus, he's got his mom taking care of him, and she's got his same spirit, so that bodes well for Dave. What a ma an amazing story, and he's not bitter or angry at not all? Not at all. It's, he's, it, he makes you laugh. I, I was laughing like crazy in front of this guy. He's just so wonderful. What an extraordinary person. So glad you brought him to our attention. Okay.